Hi, Casey. Casey. Told us to be neat. What is up you beautiful farmers, it's your boy Carl and if you don't know me, I'm a 28 year old sheep farmer and sheep shearer from Sligo in the northwest of Ireland. Now, it's late in the year and these sheep are not shown. We just have sheep in a lot of different places and a couple of the last spots got put on the long finger. Dad does a lot of work, contract work, gathering for other farmers. He was just, just been on the mountain like for the last two, three weeks, almost every day straight. And then I started to get a wrist injury. I think it's uh, tendonitis. It meant that I couldn't really shear a whole pile of sheep for the week. So it was kind of two of us out of action and there's still a couple of bunches left to shear. So this vlog was recorded a couple of months ago. I think it was towards the end of August. You'll have to forgive me for the very short and abrupt intro. I looked tired, so I must have just got out of the wrong side of the bed that morning. Although I remember we were pretty busy with the shearing at the time. But I'm a soft enough young cub at the best of times, and a bit of hard work does come severe on me. Normally, normally you, are, you're actually, people love you on YouTube. Yeah, you're like one of the main characters. You're the boss. <laughs> you and Heather Ann are the bosses of me. So if you've seen any of my recent vlogs, you'll know how difficult it is to get young lambs onto and off a trailer by themselves. Well, these sheep are quite the opposite. They're well used to trailers and they're well used to moving around. Largely due to the fact that our land is quite spread out and they get moved regularly. So just from practice, they know what's going on and they'll jump onto the trailer and off without much of an issue. Stay there, girls. I said stay there, girls, because I was only talking to the O's. Lambs aren't old enough to understand English yet. And just as easily as they jumped on, they jumped off without much of an issue. Hey. Come on. Come on. So we're back up in Kinsella for the second bunch. You can see these ladies, they're just mad to go. They know what's happening like. They're actually mad to get up on the trailer. It is nice like that, like, that is very helpful to the operation. Especially when it's just not four or five people here loading and they're like, it's just me and Casey, the dog. The girl is just champing at the bit here. She's just gonna run up into the trailer because she knows what's happening. Casey, come, come. Come, Casey, come. Good girl. I don't like them. Time to go home and get your wool off, girls. Nice lamb there. Hi, right, Casey. Casey. Told us to be neat. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. So before we share, we're picking off lambs and colios. Time to run them up for the shears now. By the time we're shearing these, the last of our sheep, it's late August. Shearing in late August isn't an issue for lowland sheep that are going to be down for the winter. But for mountain sheep, it may be a bit more of an issue because it's a lot colder and harsher on the mountain where they're going back to. So instead of shearing the sheep bare, we do what's called topping. Topping involves leaving an inch or two of wool on all the way around the sheep as you shear it. It's slower than normal shearing, 
and it would be a lot easier just to shear the sheep bare. But we do this with the animal's welfare in mind. That's something that I think animal rights activists miss about farmers. They think that we just exploit them and we don't care about their welfare at all. But a happy sheep is a productive sheep, so it makes complete sense to make sure that it's well looked after. Right, so shearing done. Dad has gone away with those lambs. We have them sorted. Now it's dust these ewes and paint them and get them ready for a way. So they're going to get fluke fiber and they're going to get cobalt B12, of course, from natural stock here to make sure they've got their trace elements. A couple of people have commented asking why we paint and the reason is so we can see them from space. I know. It's so you can see them from far away. It's so also so other people can know who the sheep are because your sheep are going to stray. That's a sheep break out. Or if you're on a commonage in particular, then your sheep are going to end up coming in with other people's sheep. So it's just handy that to have sheep that are painted in. You can very quickly see, oh that's orange in the middle of the back. That's the vannies. So it's, yeah, leaves it handy.